What's up guys, Flame Skulls 54 here, and today we are back in some American Truck Simulator. You guys already know the drill. This is a DDC Peterbilt 379. We also have a Midland trailer, which looks pretty cool. Uh, this is our company trailer right now. I decided to go with Midland because why not? Uh, so it's a insulated trailer. It's got a few customizations to it. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, this Peterbilt's pretty cool. Uh, we'll just give you an update here. So I did end up taking out a loan. Um, so we got three hundred eighty some thousand. Uh, it, I took out a five hundred thousand dollar loan. I always do. Um, what we're probably gonna do after this run, thirty eight. So we'll probably pay off the four hundred thousand. Um, we also did give our last truck over to another driver so we actually have um, two drivers now and as usual this truck will be going to another driver as well once we find out what the next truck is um, so as you can see here so we're carrying household appliances from uh, Beaumont Texas to Conway Arizona I believe uh, no, Arkansas, sorry. Um, so as you can see here, this is our route. Hit a road. Um, so we're just kind of going up north a little bit. Um, it's not too long of a route, 450 miles. So, um, we've been exploring a lot of the, <laughs> um, uh, southeast, uh, part of the map lately. So, don't know what's up with that anyway, but I'll end up going up the uh, eastern seaboard there, going down to Texas. Maybe it's just, we're, we're just going with the flow. We'll be going everywhere. It's all right. Um, so yeah, we'll hop up in the truck and get everything going. Okay, here we go. So this is the interior. I know it's kind of hard to see where it's nighttime. Uh, it is 11.25 p.m., so we're doing a bit of a night run. Uh, it's not a bad interior. Um, it doesn't have as much customization as the 379 that I got from Blue Line Modifications, but nonetheless, it is still a nice truck. Uh, we got our windows down here, so go ahead and start up the engine here. Give her a good listen. Not bad, eh? We're gonna put the windows up. Uh, this truck isn't as loud. Uh, I did change it. Um, so it should be a bit better this, uh, this street. So let's see here. We're all clear there. Let's head on. Yeah, that's a great start to the video. And, oh, there's a curb there. I thought it was just the train tracks. There we go. Turn the blinker off there. So, today we are hauling you know, 25,000 pounds of household appliances. As you guys saw there, where our route's going, so should be a fun little route. Um, so yeah, interesting story. So I got my wheel adapter the other day. don't know what I'm doing apparently because I ended up making a minor boo-boo and by minor I mean major so it's nothing to do with the wheel per se but the adapter itself actually will 
I like it because it's not loud, it's not quiet, it's like it's just right. It's a lovely truck. Anyway, getting back to it. So the adapter. So I get the adapter and everything. Anyway, I uh, I take my Logitech wheel off. I'm like, okay, you know, that wasn't so difficult. I thought taking the wheel off was going to be a bit more difficult than it was. But... Uh, it actually wasn't that bad. So I get the wheel off, get everything disconnected that needs to be, and I gotta put the adapter on. So I'm like, okay. Anyway, I go to put the wheel on, like the wheel part of the adapter, because there's two parts to it. Anyway, I think I put it too tight or something. And it snapped off like a part of it so I'm just like are you kidding me so I tried to go and just see if it would work and it didn't really hold the wheel so I was like well that's great so needless to say so the wheel the wheel is like twice the size like it's gonna take some getting used to that's for sure so I think what had happened because when I got the adapter I took all the screws out and I think they're supposed to go in a certain way and uh, I think it was just because of the aspect that I put them in a different place is what caused the th adapter to uh, split so needless to say I'm hoping it I did look on the website and it has some type of warranty somewhat um, I'm really whoa that was close buddy um, I'm really hoping that I don't have to pay for another one but if I do, then whatever. And at least I'll know for when I get it. But, um, yeah, like the way I look at it is if I gotta pay, it's about $94 Canadian for the adapter. Not too happy about it, but whatever. Stuff happens. But the way that I look at it is another $94 or have a $400 wheel be completely useless. So, I, uh, I, I don't mind spending an extra little bit, but I, I did get annoyed because I was tightening it and then I'll, like, you could have sworn that somebody got hit with something. Like, it was a huge snap, and I was just like, I, I just froze right up, I was like, oh no. Because I'm like, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know what happened. <laughs> right, so, and, uh, so... For this video, I would have been using that wheel, but you know, that happened. Around the gear a little bit there, but yeah, no. But at the very least, the way I look at it, I get to pull now. So I'm gonna see if he can possibly send me out another one, or if I have to buy one, then so be it. Because I did look, and some partial part of the warranty, or his policy, is, it's like it would kind of cover it. So, that's good to know. But, you know, it, it is what it is. 
and hopefully if I do get another one then it'll be in the right place and then I won't touch it till I actually you know put the wheel on because like I say I think I went to like I, I unscrewed everything before I got the wheel and I think what had happened is I put the screws in the wrong like wrong and it ended up in the wrong spots I'm assuming they're custom made for um what is it uh for each hole right so but I don't know man buddy is hot thing that I, ha I can say that I have an issue with with ATS accessories is it just sucks that it takes so long to get here because it's through USPS. So far that's literally the only downside that I have with this stuff. But I'm still looking forward to getting his button box. Uh, I'm not going with the Patriot XL, but just the uh, smaller one there. Um, so I am looking forward to that. I love the sounds on this truck. Like the brakes and stuff, the Jake brake, like it's not too high volume, too low volume. I like guess like just right, it sounds nice. And I'm thinking about getting his pedals next, possibly. He's got like a nice choose like Peterbilt, Kenworth, or one other brand there of uh, pedals. He hit the curve there, didn't I? Just a little bit. But, like it's cool that somebody can actually do what he does. I just, I think that's really cool and unique. I just wish that, like, where I'm in Canada and it has to ship, the only issue is that basically the shipping, so whatever I pay for the product, I'm basically paying for two products because the shipping is basically the price of the product. It's ridiculous. That's like the major, major downside for me. I think he should, in my opinion, look into different uh, delivery companies and start doing. But. You know, I, d I don't want to wait. Like, that, that's the only thing now. It's like, you know, I I had the wheel, or I had the adapter, and then I got the wheel, you know, then it broke. But now I gotta wait, you know, another. And I haven't even ordered it yet, because I don't know what he's gonna do. But. And that's another thing too, he doesn't respond on weekends, it just it sucks. Like, I kind of almost want to be like, hey, could I work for you? Like, but I don't know, it's, it sucks. It is what it is. 
because I mean it's worth the wait. I know it'll be worth the wait. It's just at the time the wait is like painful. sucks because I waited for it for so long, but it, it is what it is. Oh my god, slow down. I don't know. Everything about this truck so far has me intrigued. It's just, it's, it's nice. What are we honking at, people? It's a red light. Chill out. Oh my, that reminds me. I remember watching a video. I think it was on Facebook or something. And this, it was this guy, and I kid you not, he, so he was behind a vehicle at a red light. Anyway, once the light turned green, like immediately once the light turned green, but he just lays on his horn at the other guy in front of him. I'm like, whoa, like, chill. Like, I get it, it's a green light, but humans have know one or two second delay reaction to stuff because your brain's gonna see it it's like okay now it's a green light and then it's gonna think okay you gotta move your foot and all that that takes you know a second or two to register I, I remember reading somewhere too about stuff like that it takes the brain a certain amount of time to register that type of stuff I just can't remember how long Let me guess, there's another red light up here. Oh, would you look at that. It's like I just, I know this stuff. So, if you guys have noticed, I've been streaming and recording. Oh. Necessarily say recording. I don't really record videos, so you can stream them. I don't have to mind YouTube. Um, but I'm starting to stream more frequently. Obviously, you guys have noticed I'm uploading to YouTube more frequently. Um, so that's kind of the goal here. Um, I would like to up the aspect of. You know, maybe two weekly uploads. Oh, I am boxed in right now. But I don't, I don't want to push it right now because my work schedule is all over the place. Okay, people, pedal down, please. Oh, this is not good. Yes, please, pedal down. Pedal down. I think the rain stops. Turn that off. But where I have an inconsistent work schedule, um, like I can almost guarantee I wouldn't even thought about streaming tonight. Um, I was supposed to work today, and uh, so I do warehouse work, and I also work in the uh, garden center, and I was supposed to be in the garden center today, but it was not the best weather, so, and obviously the garden center's outside, so they uh, shut down the garden center, and they were like, hey, we really don't need you to come in, because we're shutting it down for the day. So, um, you know, I was like, okay, well, 
I guess I can do a video today. are there, but I guess it's not here. Works for me. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I was like, alright, well, I guess I don't go to work today, cool, I'll do a video. I know I kind of did a video later on in the day, but, um, this is usually my time to do videos and not have anything to do, not be interrupted, but this is when I like it. Everybody's asleep. You know. Come on. I love the braking sound on this truck. So, ah, fabulous. I wish they would have, like, what ATS, what, or sorry, what ATS, what SES software has to work on is two things. A, making warnings um, sooner, so that way we have the appropriate time and speed to slow down first off and secondly they need to make um, I've mentioned this before are we going where are we going because two people don't know how to drive what else is new there's that one person I don't know This is gonna be lovely. Um, I think this is just gonna be a massive traffic jam, so I have an idea. Bear with me. Hey, Davis. gonna be sketchy. I can genuinely say now, like, my setup is, it's nice to, um, my setup's pretty much complete. Pretty much, honestly, after, uh, um, after I get this wheel situation sorted, um, 
Basically, my setup the way I want it is pretty much done, and it's an amazing feeling. So, I think that's why I was having bad luck with this, because it's like, you no, know, karma's getting, yeah, you're, you're not getting that done right now. You're gonna have to do it, or do, do more. So, but, at the end of the day, in my opinion, it's worth it. I'm all about realism, so, it's, uh, it's, it's nice to be able to be fortunate enough to be able to get this stuff. Got there for a thumbnail. That's also why I like doing ATS videos so much, is because it's so easy to get a thumbnail. The videos are always fun and relaxing. Like it's just perfect. Always perfect. Until we crash and flip the truck. And then we're not gonna be so happy. I don't know if that's Louisiana. I don't, I don't know where we are. How far? Are we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Louisiana. Get over there. 230 miles. We're getting there. Okay. And we need to get off up here. No, we don't. It's just doing that. No, oh, yes, we do. Never mind. Anybody who plays ATS, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about in the aspect where like it will tell you to go off the off ramp and then come back on the on ramp and keep going so I thought that's what it was doing but no like my setups are basically to where I want it now plus a little more um, I don't know I think the only other thing to do with my PC is getting a better power supply because I have so much stuff right now that I can't even have plugged into my PC because it's just it's taken up so much power and then it's causing all this stuff to disconnect in the middle of it. like when I had there I think it was the last video um, the shifter was disconnected we had that issue. I'm um, pretty sure it was just because of the aspect that there was so much stuff plugged into my PC and not enough power emitting from it. Okay, let's get around these guys here. 
So I think that might be the next thing to upgrade on my PC, which I'm not really looking forward to. But in the long run, it's gonna it's gonna be like that. Like I say, with everything, it's worth the wait. You know, it it, it is worth it. So. Arkansas. Didn't we just enter a state? We just in our, what was it, Georgia? Or something like... Wow, that's quick. I know it would never be like that in real life, but... How far are we? 178 miles. Let's speed over here. 70? Oh, we're doing about 75. Then. But yeah, no. Oh, I think. Okay, so once we, we get the adapter and then uh, the butt box. The butt box is the last big thing. And then basically it's just kind of to save up for another PC as. Uh, as sad as it is to say that, but, you know, it don't last forever, unfortunately. I know it would be nice with how expensive they are if they did last forever, but they don't. It's the unfortunate part with anything, really, is nothing lasts forever. Look at that sunrise. I love these new sky boxes. And again, the mod list really hasn't updated or changed. I mean, I added the truck, but that's about it, honestly. Like, that's, that's pretty much the gist of the mod list now, is just adding these trucks. That's that's literally it. So but yeah. Oh look at that. Beautiful sun rays coming through the trees. Nice beautiful morning. Clouds in the sky. Ah, oh, it's a lovely day. Speaking of lovely days, man, it's it's now June, and where I am right now, like, it's still cold. Like, it's nuts. I don't like it one bit. Full. Not that much traffic of roads today. I've been, I, I was kind of debating at some point to put like a heavier traffic mod in, but that just like messes with the game too much. Unfortunately, like it just cuts down on the frames. So, I just, I don't, I don't really think it's worth it. stations. Kinda wish I could have gone in there. They are very nice. Very nice indeed. Watch for wildlife dusk and dawn. Like there, when I was talking about the longer runaway groups, like, or not runaway, but just like exit ramps and entrance ramps, like they need to be 
You, you gotta make it longer than what they are. You just, you have to. I, I know this game came out in 2016, but like, this was with very minimal graphics mods. I mean, the most noticeable mod is the skybox. I mean, other than that, I'm running, you know, 60 FPS, 2160p, you know. Like, it's still an amazing game, considering they have written. I don't, I mean, they've done some graphical stuff, but I think they even they see the aspect that they don't really need to, because the community, like, the ATS modding community is amazing. With the amount of stuff that comes out, like, I'm always constantly on the Steam Workshop, looking through everything. Um, I believe I found this truck on ATSmods.com. If I can remember, oh, I'll, uh, I'll start leaving the links for the trucks and stuff in the description. Obviously, along with the trailer. So, but no, this is all our company truck, company trailer. So. And then after this too, I'll probably keep looking for uh, for some more. Oh, I don't like the outcome of this. high and lows when I'm downshifting for some reason. It's like you get used to something when it's forwards but then you start going. It's like parallel parking and backing up with a car. It messes with your brain. Especially an 18 wheeler. It's like go right to go left. <laughs> but yet other times you have to go left to go left. So, parking definitely messes with people's brains. I wholeheartedly agree with that. And it, it is a skill to be acquired, that's for sure. But then you get used to it, and it's like, oh, wow, this was easy. on this truck. That sounds about right. We'll have plenty of miles on the truck there before we're done with it. That's for sure. But yeah, no, I, I am thinking of, I'm just gonna keep this profile. And uh, keep doing what I'm doing. So... Just to kind of keep the money flowing in, get more drivers. So, man, why am I taking this so fast? I just like zoning out here, and I just keep. Oh, little leg spike there. I don't know what's going on there. It's not 
else to get back on. I'm getting so tired with this chick break. Oh. This is not what I thought it was at all. That's one thing about America, the intersections are so different from Canada, it confuses me all the time. Uh, this is not going to be a fun turn. Whoa! Jeez! They put that sign right close to the Yes, I know, I'm a horrible shifter. I don't know what to tell you. I suck. It right there, sure. We can do that. Uh, oh, uh, I thought I, I looked at the caddy or whatever, thought it was in the second bay, and the trailer was in the first. I'm like, uh, that's not happening, people, so I don't know what you're smoking. But it was me who was smoking something apparently.
definitely gonna hit that. So let's pull up all the way to the left. If I do this right, this should only be the only one that I actually have to pull up on. I'm a professional. Maybe. Not really. Don't take my word at that at all. with this one today. My brain's not working.
200,000 XP. Oh. Let me guess. I'm going to say level 273. Oh, I was way off. Level 99. <laughs>